Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So guess what? I brought the horses camping again, and guess whose first time it is? Miss Cruella, <laughs> and then Miss Figura. So it's their first camping trip, and it's gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. So we're just gonna hang out, get the horses settled in, and just relax, and then we're gonna hit the trails tomorrow morning. Can't wait to take you with me. Really hope you enjoy this trip. Also, you should totally buy some Free Spirit Equestrian merch and support us. We got the horses hay and water. They're settling in well. We're gonna tie up their buckets after they drink out of them so we can refill them easier. Mr. Jiminy Cricket here, he's just a superstar. Then Miss Cruella, this is her first camping trip. So excited to take her out and see how she does. Then we have Mr. Miko, who's gonna be taking really good care of one of my students. He's such a sweet boy. And then of course, Miss Bagheera. It's her first camping trip too. So it's gonna be really fun to see how these two mares do. And I can't wait to show you. You were able to see a little bit of our campsite. Of course, it's equestrian friendly with the pens. And then we're setting up our tents. This is like the clubhouse with bathrooms and showers. We're getting all set up here. It's the mansion of all time. <laughs> that is so funny. All for little Natalie. She's like, you laugh. And then we have the cot, the cot tent. I like it. Juxposition of a... <laughs> the middle of the way. Okay, as you can see, we put up all the buckets. The horses have tons of hay. Now I'm gonna fly spray them because of course the bugs are bad. It's summertime, you know, we're right by the pond and like all the trees and the woods. So definitely need to spray them down. So in this video, Obviously, I'm going to be showing you all of our rides, but what I'm going to do in this first video is primarily show you Bagheera, and I'm going to show you all of her experiences on her first camping trip. And then after that, the next video I'm going to post will be Cruella and all of her experiences. That way we can focus on Bagheera's experiences and then Cruella's. All right, so Miss Bagheera did really great last night. I tacked her up. I'm getting her breast collar on her. She's being a really good girl, very calm. As you can see, we have our Western gear on today with our bling. Of course, we have to be sparkly and pink at all times. We also have our High Horse Day setup in our Impact Floral Gel Saddle Pad. Amazing Western saddle pads, really love them. They work so well and they're absolutely great quality. Everybody else is getting ready too. We are so excited. It's gonna be a wonderful day. So excited to take Bagheera out and everyone else. We're gonna have a great time. All right, horse lovers, we are ready to roll and take you on this fantastic ride. We got Bagheera, Miko, and Mr. Jiminy. Cruella is hanging out back at camp, so this will be good practice for her. And then I'll take her out later, and you'll see all that in the second video. So we just got on the trail, and we're going in the hayfield loop. Um, it's definitely a humid, warm morning. As you can see, I'm sweating. But it's going to be super fun. So we have Bagheera here leading the way, and then Miko and Jiminy. So Miss Bagheera is going to lead the way today on the trail. So far, everything has been fantastic. She's not spooky at all. She's just charging through, really wanting to pick up and hack out. Amazing. Miko and Jiminy are taking really good care of my students. They're doing awesome. Nice, that's pretty. Bagheera is definitely in much better shape since I got her in December. She's come so far. She is a really forward mare and I really enjoy it because she's still calm and collected, but she really likes to move out and it's quite fun. So right here, we're all just practicing riding away from the group and just trotting around the field and it's so fun. The scenery and diversity is really pretty. We are in Chase, Michigan at D-Bar D Ranch. You can check all of that out. The link is in the description to the website. So wonderful.
The scenery is gorgeous here and I really like this campground for introducing riders or horses to camping because the trails are pretty easy but there's still some like hills and creeks and a lot of different things to explore. Oh girl. Need some water? Ho. Oh. We need to see if others want to drink. We're not walking away yet. Jiminy will drink. Look at the little minnows. Oh yeah. No, you can't just march up there. Good boy. Turning right. <laughs> That's funny. My favorite thing about this campground is that you have the woods that you can go hack around in like we're doing now. And then you have the fields where you can canter and gallop. It's just a really great like diversity, not only for riders, but for the horse. And like, look at how beautiful this is. All the ferns, they look so pretty. All the horses are doing a great job. We're having an absolute blast. Bagheera's doing a really great job going into the creeks. I'm so proud of her. She's being so good. We're having a blast. It's a really great day. We like trotted and hacked through the fields, which you saw. And now we're just hanging out in the woods. Why do you always pee in the creek? Every single time. <laughs> My creek. That's dominant. Every time. Is that not this? I just feel I like it's know. such a, like you would be the kid that pees in the pool. Yeah. 100%. And likes it. <laughs> and, likes it <laughs> and brags about it. Right? I'm not ashamed <laughs> at all. Look at Jiminy. Jiminy's like, well, I'm not drinking now. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess it's sterile. Yeah. Ew. I don't know if they would. The pea cloud. I think that's probably just sediment, huh? From the bottom. Yeah. I got a video of it. Mine? Tip your head. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, you see it, Natalie? Yes, I do. Aw, <laughs> oh, look at you. It's cool. The dragonflies don't hurt anyone. No. Horseflies <laughs> would be another story. It's just <laughs> chilling. He's like, oh, I'm done. He's like, I think the best ride. <laughs> That's so, it's still there. It's so funny. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I know. It was like wet. Though. It was wet. <laughs> Good smart girl. Now I'm going to ride Bagheera away from the group and canter around the field. So when I first got her, she didn't know how to canter. And this is our first time cantering in the field. Now we've worked on it in the arena a little bit, but this is just an amazing experience. I can't even explain how euphoric it feels to be cantering on her out in the field. It's just so amazing. She's doing so well and I'm just having the time of my life. It's honestly such a sacred feeling to be on a horse, like a living being, and they're carrying you through nature and you truly become one in your partnership. And it's just simply pure joy, pure amazement. I have such respect for horses. Bagheera honestly just took my breath away. I mean, again, the fact that this horse was just thrown away like garbage at an auction, and now she's literally making my dreams come true. I'm gonna canter her around the field a little bit more. Wasn't that lovely? Yeah, he was Told you he just like, wants to get just, out. Look at you. That, that was amazing. She looks so pretty. There you go. Sometimes I really do feel like I live in a fairy tale. I'm so thankful for what I have in these opportunities, and I'm just so proud of my horses. I see he's got another tree. Yes, he, did. Ah! he said she settled down, so. Now we're heading back into camp and what we're gonna do is go by that little pond that you saw in the beginning and we're gonna see if Bagheera will swim in it. All right, so we're walking them down there. Yes, I know I have tack on. No, I do not care. My tack is synthetic, so it'll be fine if it gets wet. Look 
Careful. Miss Figuera really enjoyed her swim. That was so much fun. That is definitely a core memory. Figuera was getting a little anxious, so I'm taking her out on a solo ride. She wasn't doing anything bad. I could just tell she wanted to get out and go do something. So we're gonna go for a little ride. We're just leaving camp now. I'm honestly really excited to just take her out solo and again, just build on our partnership. I love riding solo. It's so much fun and we're just having a blast. She's being such a good girl. Again, she wants to move out, but she's listening and being responsive. I think this is really healthy and something that's a really good opportunity for us to do together as a team. Good girl. Again, I just feel like I'm in a fairy tale riding my beautiful horse through the woods. It's just so gorgeous. It's kind of like misty. And now I feel like we need to move out a little bit. So we're going to go for a nice little canter slash gallop. Good. Good girl. You're so good. Good. Wow, this has been a phenomenal solo ride. I am just so happy. I think solo rides are really important and good for the soul. She's doing really good. Having a blast out here. It's like kind of a misty, overcast morning. Um been really fun we've been hacking around in the fields as you saw <laughs> Ooh, going through some. Ooh, that was fun now we're back at camp bagheera was so amazing on this trip it just blew me away you're gonna see in the next video cruella's first camping trip experience as well i cannot wait to show you and i'll see you on the next ride horse lovers stay tuned for part two